<laughs> so how are you this evening? I'm good. I'm happy. You know, I'm a little tired. I came from Vermont yesterday. It's like the old joke, you can't get there from here. I live on a farm in Vermont, so... Do you really? To get from that farmhouse... Well, it's an old farm. It's not, not active, but I mean, to get from that farmhouse to the Beverly Wilshire Hotel is a journey. And here you are. Here I am. Now, tell me, you've had such an amazing career. What's the best advice you ever received? Oh, that's, that's a good question. The best advice I ever received? My agent, my first agent said, get a hobby. You're going to not work a lot, and you're going to go crazy if you don't have a hobby. So I became a pilot. It was the best, oh, really? best advice I ever got. Yeah, I've been a pilot for 42 years. But you do work a lot, though. How do you have time? Oh, I haven't worked since August. Since August? Oh, oh that's not a vacation. Mm. <laughs> so did you fly yourself here? No, no. It's, it's a, my airplane takes too long. I don't have the John Travolta uh, airplanes. I have well, the fun, tiny though. airplanes that I love just as much. I was a flight attendant. So Were you? Okay, yeah. Which airline? Oh, I don't want to say. You don't have to say? <laughs> All right. No, I'm kidding. Sounds e- like. Eastern. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, my cousin is, a, is an airline pilot for American. But, but, and so I'm but, a flight instructor. So that, oh, you know, are you really? Mm-hmm, and commercial. I need something to fall back on in case this doesn't work out. You never know. You know that's good. Although, sadly, I'm actually past the retirement age of pilots in the airlines. It went from 60 to 65. Oh. So I'll have to find something else. Well, besides that, what's the best thing about getting older? And, and, and except for joining AARP. Yeah, I think you don't let things bother you as much. I think that's it. You know, I mean, it's interesting for me to be reading books I read in high school. I'm like, oh, actually, I'm actually reading this. This is really good. I'm sort of redoing my life that I was rushing through. You know, that's one of the nice things, sitting by the fire and reading and you know flying now uh, i don't need the big fast airplane i have a little two-seat airplane that flies off a grass strip and that's just as exciting as a, as a g5 or one of the fancy jets you know so what do you have coming up for us that we i'm starring in a show w- w- with a wonderful group of actors called uh, chesapeake shores on the hallmark channel we're going into our second season uh i'm doing my next chicago fire again i play uh, 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 the father of the lead kid so that's kind of fun uh, I got two movies coming out, one with Alec Baldwin, I play his brother-in-law, and I'm going to do uh, David Mammoth's American Buffalo this summer. Uh, Is that all? And uh, I'm shoveling snow every other day in Vermont. Very last, busy. <laughs> last question, what's your guiding light? My guiding light? Uh, my wife is my guiding light, really. I mean, she's the one I look to for... For, uh, she'll tell me the, the, the truth and the, and the right thing to do. So, she's thank, my guiding light. Thank, thank you so much. Oh, can you uh, look in the camera and say, stay tuned and watch me on entertainment and sports today? Uh, stay tuned and watch me. I'm Treat Williams on entertainment and sports today, if you want.